Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and we're bringing you a brand new tutorial. This one's the weekly nightfall challenge, and it's going to be on Valus Tarak. And um, basically, this is going to be the fastest way of doing it. Now, the weapons that you ideally want is the Vision of Confluence. Unfortunately, I don't have this weapon, so I'm sticking with the Apians. I've got a fully upgraded Galahorn which is going to be quite useful as well for you guys. Um, the only thing is, if you have an icebreaker, um, if you've got it fully upgraded, it's going to create, what, 2 free k for example, it's going to have a big bonus damage. Unfortunately, in this video, my icebreaker only has about 2 upgrades on it, so you're going to see it doesn't do as much damage, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to take them down. But I'm going to show you anyway guys, the fastest way that you can possibly do it. So first of all what you want to do is jump onto this rock. You're going to take a bit of damage, don't worry about that. So the first part is just literally skip in the first room, get behind here, wait for the door to open. And what we're going to do is we're going to go straight through. And we're going to end up moving on to the next room now, which is where all the little lads are. So all we're going to do here is we're going to use these rockets and we're just going to plant it in that Colossus. There we go, so that'll take him down. Big damage there, unfortunately. The recoil on the Atheons nearly messes me up right there. Now these Scions, you do want to get rid of them. I was trying to get rid of the Colossus, but the sound kept uh, pulse waving me. And for some reason, I wasn't even hitting him. What? There we go. So we took him out. All we're going to do now is we're going to move forward, take out these poisons, scions, whatever you call them. Shitty little lads. Pretty annoying. But uh, this is the good thing about the Atheon's epilogue, it will take those out nice and fast because it's a void damage weapon. The weapons that you do want on this is void as well as solar. Solar for the ones that have the solar shields and void for the little scions and stuff like that. So all I'm doing here is I'm just going to make use of the machine and take out as many ads as possible. Like so. Now you're going to have two shielded ones directly over here, you do want to take them out as well. That's where your primary focus is going to be. Now if you remember while you're in these tanks you've got left shot, right shot, left shot. So what you can do is you can adjust your tank in order to get a better aim. I do not get very good aim on this Colossus but then I end up getting the Centurion down. Nice few shots there. Don't worry about when you take a little bit of damage guys, um, obviously you can take quite a lot of damage in these tanks. So at the moment it's took us 3 minutes 25 to get to here. And this shielded one was pretty annoying. So you do want to take it down as fast as you possibly can. And I was just sticking to my guns here. Just want that one down. Now I can work on the others. So what we're actually trying to do is we're trying to get the headshots on the Colossus. Unfortunately my aim seems a little bit off here. There we go, there's a nice hit. There's another, and another, and another. One more shot. There we go, he's down. So, next, what we're going to move on to is we're going to take out the Phalanx. So, we're just basically aiming at the feet. If we can get a body shot like so, we'll get it. Just one of those things, guys, you just want to take your time, really. Now the only thing these tanks aren't good for is the little poison ones that do the pulse waves. You can see they don't do too much damage on them in a second. Now 
Right, so I'm going to show you one of the fastest ways that you can take the tank down as well and the positioning that you can use basically when we get to it. Um, what I'm going to end up using guys just to give you a brief walkthrough on it is I'm going to be using the Galahorn and I'm going to plant a full 7 rocket in it which is going to get him down low. What this will allow is when you have your icebreaker fully upgraded um, you're going to do a lot more damage than what I'm doing in this tutorial so you'll basically be taking him down quicker than I would be. Fortunately I need to do the bounties for that and get it upgraded because it didn't really help me out in this one and it sort of worked to my disadvantage but this is by far the quickest way that you will complete it. Just want to get rid of that guy there. Okay so we got rid of the guy you're going to find the, sh the ship's going to be coming so you're just jumping up jumping down because it's going to shoot at you that ship and it can hurt you. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pick up this heavy ammo so I've got a nice 5 rockets there. Get straight back into another tank and I'm just going to work on the ads that have spawned. You can see all these little lads here. If you get some nice shots on them, take them out. You can take those ones out in one hit. Just bear in mind that that Colossus is going to be shooting you with the rockets. So we're just going to focus fire on him. And there we go, we'll take him out. Now we can focus on the rest of them. This just to give you an idea. His shields were down, so that's why he got one-shotted. Let's see what we do on one that has the shield up. Now the one that has the shield up not taking much damage so we're just gonna fire some rockets into the cluster here while there's quite a few of them takes a few shots to get the purple ones down just gonna back off a minute while they're shooting me And we're going to go on foot and we're going to waste some rockets here. There we go, that'll take down the Centurion. These ones, we're just going to shoot with the Apians. Nice and easy to take down, same again. And you can see that there's another ammo drop there as well. Ammo drops will work to your advantage to making it a lot quicker for you. Currently on 8 minutes 27. But like I said guys, don't forget if you do have the luxury of having a fully upgraded icebreaker, it's going to be a lot quicker. Rain that rocket right at his feet and that allows us to one shot him. And we're just going to gradually take this guy down, which will spawn the tank. There you go, he's down. So we're just going to go over to that ammo pack, pick up the ammo pack so we've got four rockets to start. And what we're going to do this time guys, is we're just going to come over here. This is going to be the position, now bearing in mind you're not invincible here as well. Just be careful that his turret isn't aiming directly straight through and you will be absolutely fine. You can see I'm just going to plant the Galahorn straight into him like so. Which is going to take off a lot of damage nice and fast, you can see the hit right there. Just being careful, if you look at this turret where it's aiming. actually failed on that rocket there. So we're going to go into our inventory, reload our rockets and we're just going to plant another 7 rockets into him. So you can see that one took off a hell of a lot of damage because it took out one of the legs. 
And we got three more rockets to use. One, two, and three. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to switch up our weapons as well in a second. We're just going to waste this sniper ammo here. You can see that's critting for 413. That's actually fully upgraded, funnily enough, so it's not exactly a good sniper, that one. Now this is what you want to be careful, see how his turret's aiming right at me? Just make sure you dodge it. He's going to end up coming back to the original position, you've just got to manoeuvre him a little bit. So I've come over here just for a bit of uh, cover. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the Galahorn, put on the Icebreaker. You can see my Icebreaker isn't really upgraded though. He's going to shoot at me, so I'm just backing off, waiting till he's shot. There we go. Okay. Right, so now we're back into position. You can see we've just got him shifted to the left hand side, which is good for us. This is going to allow him not to be able to hit us. But as you can see, my sniper rifle is taking off 734 damage per shot. If it was fully upgraded, you'd be doing at least 3k. And that's what I mean about it being quite a bit faster for you guys. The icebreaker can take out the ads fully upgraded pretty quickly as well. And it's basically going to do a hell of a lot more damage to the boss than I'm doing. But I can promise you this, if you do have those weapons, even a good scout rifle, it's going to be 10 times faster. So you'll be able to cut down the time by at least half. So you could probably do it in around about 15 to 18 minutes, dependent on how fast you are. Fifteen minutes might be a little bit optimistic, I'd probably say around the 17-18 marker. <coughs> Unfortunately guys, this is going to be the boring part for you to watch because we've got to kill the tank before we can move. few more shots and he should be down. Like I said, that's the only annoying thing about only having two upgrades on the icebreaker. It's something I've got to work on. And I'm going to get that done today as well. Just because it will be pretty damn handy. There we go, so the tank is down guys, what we're going to do, get straight on our vehicle, right. and we're just going to make it as quick as possible. So as with anything, if you've got fully upgraded weapons, they obviously do a lot more damage than the original state. So all we're going to do is we're just going to drive around here. Now these ads you don't really need to bother with them so you can literally just drive past them. Here we go. Now 
Now, in this particular room, you don't actually have to kill the ads. If you're confident at making it straight through, you can do that. I'm not actually going to do that. I thought twice about it. I was going to do it. But then I ended up taking a lot of damage. And this is where I was thinking about doing it, and you're going to see exactly what happens. Boom. Poison wave. Hit me down. So that's where I thought twice about doing that. Just going to jump over that wave. Going to take those little shitty ads out. We don't need to bother with the actual centurion. So we're just coming back round. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to jump over and get into the boss room. Now, what we're going to do in this particular room, guys, is we're actually going to stay exactly where we are. This is by far the best position for you. Now, the only thing you need to be careful of is the ads as well when they put the head around. If, for example, if you just took a full on rocket from the boss and he's not quite killed you and then an ad comes around the corner and decides to spank you on that's just what you want to be careful of as well now you're going to see that I actually switch as a warlock to my solar grenades just because they do damage over time and they're nice and easy to just plant into a cluster of them so all you're going to do when the boss has spawned like so you're going to go headshot headshot and keep continuing that as well. Don't worry if you're taking a little bit of hits, if you see the rockets coming towards you, you can nice and easy dodge them. You can see that actually hit me down quite a bit though. Now you can see all over the map where the ads are going to spawn. The ones on the left hand side generally do leave you alone. Just be careful that they do because it might not always be the case. All I'm doing there is I'm getting rid of a few of them anyway, just in case. And we're just going to go back to headshotting the boss. Making sure we get the headshots. You can see my sniper's actually critting for 2k this time. I'm not sure why when it was doing 700 and odd on the tank itself. And that was with hitting the uh, legs. You can see we're just going to headshot some of the ads. We're going to finish off this guy here. It's one of those guys you just want to take your time with it. You don't want to end up getting returned back to orbit. So um, the main thing I can say is take your time. Um, what I'd personally advise in the weekly nightfall is if you do have friends to do it with, it's going to be a lot quicker anyway. Um, but you can solo it within 18 minutes, that's no problem. All you need is specific type of weapons, solar and void. And a fully upgraded icebreaker will obviously do a shitload of damage. So you can see the next part that the boss comes to is going to be right here. We're just going to take off some random damage on him. Now this is what you want to be careful of. You want to be careful of his rockets. Now you can protect yourself just to the right hand side like you see. The odd rocket might end up hitting you like so. And we're just going to move back to headshotting him as much as possible. Now his other ability is the machine gun. Now that machine gun will do damage over time. And you can see the ad just randomly jump in there. That's what you want to be careful of. There's a lot of ads there. So as soon as my grenade's loaded, we're just going to plant one of them straight into the ads. And you can see the ads can actually do quite a bit of damage to you. But you're still pretty safe here, guys. Right, moving back to headshotting. You can see another edge just jump right there. We're just going to take him out and take the other one out. We've got our supercharger. A supercharger as a warlock. It's just going to allow us to throw a lot of soul in it. So we're going to use that for a sort of AOE effect damage. And we're just going to take the adds down gradually with it. 
And we're going to place some towards the boss as well, just so it can take off a little bit more damage as well. Just looking through the gap there, getting the headshots on. Rockets incoming. Headshot that guy, and back to the boss. Unfortunately, his rockets were coming straight at us. We're not actually bothering with the heavy ammo, but you can use the rockets to either A, take out the ads, or just plant one in the boss for a bit of extra damage. Okay, so the next part you want to be careful of is when it goes to that position, you want to be careful of these right hand ads. It's not the legionaries that are going to be your biggest threat, it's going to be the poisons when they use a tidal wave. For example, if I'm hit down low by the boss, and suddenly a tidal wave comes from my right hand side. Just keep an eye out for it guys, just make sure they don't use that specific perk, you can see him right there. We're actually going to take him out, and you can see exactly what I meant right there. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Okay, so we're just going to move back onto headshotting him. You can see that wave coming right in there. Just going to use an AoE grenade to help take that guy down. So we want that little lad to be dead. Because in situations like this, that's where the wave can actually kill you. you now you can see on the left hand side, they're not really bothering us, but the middle ones, they are going to do. So we're just going to take them out. Only take a few shots. There's no point in risking it for a chocolate biscuit, guys. And you can see the boss is on his way as well, but the boss has happily stayed in between all those ads. So what we're going to do is, as soon as our grenade's loaded, we're just going to chuck a grenade in the middle as well. It helps take down the ads, but it will take extra damage on the boss. I know this might not be the most exciting to watch guys and girls but it's hard to easily solo it and you're pretty well protected now you can obviously die but it's if you're careful you won't really die chuck that grenade in there now we're not going to be stupid and poke our head out when we've got a third of our health. We're just going to regen the health and then we're going to poke our head out and randomly hit his head. There we go and we're going to regen again. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Use that grenade again. And he's about to die guys, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you did like this tutorial. There we go. And one more shot, and he's down. So that's how to solo.